Hello everyone and welcome back. This is part three of the Colon Hydrotherapy 100 hour certification course for $3,500. And I'm going to do a breakdown to, in this section on what we learn, how we learn it, kind of a schedule, an outline, what to expect, um, miscellaneous things. And hopefully I don't get off track. I've had a couple of videos earlier today uh, disappear that I made. And so my energy dropped, you know, how it is when you're doing creative projects that didn't turn out. Went through that. So you're getting me not full, full steam, but pretty good. Because colon hydrotherapy is something I could do in my sleep. I think I wrote the detox manual in like three days, literally, because it was my life for 45 some years. So I started out working with Dr. Bernard Jensen out at his ranch in California and um, learned about the colon hydrotherapy home equipment. And the old um, different uses. I mean, I've had all kinds of different boards and I call them surfboards over the years. And I like this blue board that we use that you saw in video number one. Because you can hold so much weight and it will last you forever. I think I've had some of mine. Uh, I've given them away after about 10 years. I give them to different people that need them. And so they just don't wear out. They're just one of those uh, things that will always be around, like your favorite slippers or, for me, my favorite pair of scissors. You know, I had all kinds of fun stuff. Anyway, um, brief outline. When the class starts, we usually start it with enrollment and your deposits, and I interview each one of you and find out what's going on and why you're taking the class and what your objectives are and who your clients are. I talk to you about getting five people to help you through your class that will volunteer their booties to help you get your earned 100 hour certificate. And, um, these are people that I do at one point will meet, uh, either video or in person when I come to your house or your clinic or you come to mine and we will, uh, get started with them. I'll guide you through five people personally, myself. And, um, that way you have something to cut your teeth on. So if there's three people in our enrollment class, then that's 15 people that you are going to watch have colonics, do intakes on, do exit sheets on, and understand how I do iridology, number one, because when I look in their face, I'm going to see their eyes, just like Jensen used to do when he would uh, evaluate uh, where the cecum and the transverse and everything was going on. I do the same thing a little more holographically and then you're going to learn about the reflexology points you're going to learn about ayurvedic medicine and looking at the tongue and looking at the fingernails reflexology looking at the hands and the feet so you're going to learn how to double check yourself the old time way because remember we're not doing magic and it's not medicine as in industrialized matrix medicine big pharma this is how we can help ourselves at home how we can learn the language of our own bodies and find another language which i call colon hydrotherapy to help ourselves with throughout our lives i've been doing colonics well over 45 years and um if I hadn't have been, I would be dead several times over. So just know that it is a life-saving device and it's a 
long-term practice for many people. A lot of people give themselves enemas at home. This equipment is so much better than that because they don't have to get up and down. They don't have to hold the fluid. There is, after the tube is inserted, there if there is resistance above the tube, uh, up into the rectum, the water will stop because it's gravity fed. It won't go and put pressure on your colon at all. You don't have to hold on to anything. And remember, you're over the toilet. And so when you feel the impulse to let go, do it. And that water comes out right beside the tube, just like you were having a normal bowel movement. So we are not disrupting anything. And remember, the tube is only about the size of a pencil probably a little bit littler than my little finger. So, uh, and w the way I use a technique to insert it, there's no risk of um, perforating the colon. The That's number one thing that the medical doctors will tell you to not do it because of that risk. And then they'll also tell you to not do it because of it depletes your electrolytes and it depletes your f intestinal flora. We handle both of those challenges with probiotics before, after, and during, and electrolytes before, after, and during through the whole week. So most of our clients do a series of seven colonics within seven to 10 days. Sometimes that last day, they end up doubling up because we're doing a colon cleanse through the whole colon. Then we can start to do a kidney cleanse. Then we can start to do the lymphatics. Then we can do the liver flush and make sure we're getting out as many parasites as possible and doing a parasite cleanse at the same time. And everybody has parasites, so don't freak out about it. You just have them. You learn how to manage. You learn how to go on. And even if you get them all cleaned out today, tomorrow you can get some new ones just how those little boogers are. So with that being said, each person's going to come uh, for three days or I'm going to go to you for three days. We're going to have intensive, intensive work. Uh, meet your clients, your five people, and we're going to do intakes. We're going to do exits. We're going to do colonics with them on yourself if you're ready. We all need to schedule that ahead of time, so that's why I need to know. And I'm not going to put anybody on a schedule that hasn't made their deposits. Uh, one, I need travel money to do that. Um, in the old days, I used to just help people wherever I could, and sometimes I paid for it myself. I am no longer able to do that. I am on a very limited retirement income and this is my final love project for humanity. So with that being said, please respect that and get your deposits made. Whoever enrolled you or if I'm the one who talked to you, um, just let me know and I'll send you out a link to pay for your whole class or to pay a deposit of at least $100 to get your space reserved. And that is non-refundable. Please understand that. So uh, let's get on with it. The first three days you are going to learn intakes and exit sheets. You're going to learn about good business practices, how to schedule, how to perform your practice, how to do all your disinfecting and sanitations. And I'm kind of mean on that part because it's like preparing a surgery room. Uh, I want sterile and disinfected and clean, clean, clean. Because if a person leaves, one of your clients leaves a review for you on Yelp or Google or whatever, what they're going to say about you is that they saw some spots and stains behind the door or that there was trash by the toilet or you missed cleaning the sink. That's what they're going to review you on. Not that they had a breakthrough and forgave their mother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So keep the things that you can control under control and up to par 
so that you don't have to worry about it and you can just hold space for your client when they come. And we're going to do a lot of that and, and bonding with our clients um, in the first three days. You're going to learn how to fax report of findings to medical doctors should you choose to enroll a medical doctor, chiropractor, naturopath in your practice. Now, some people choose to just use the home system that you saw in the first video, and that's all they do. That's fine. Get three home systems running, add your um, products, and um, maybe hire a support person for the front desk. You're going to earn well over 100000 a year. So with that being said, if you choose to enroll a medical doctor to prescribe to you a class two medical device, you need a prescription to buy it, number one. And then the referrals need for that machine need to come from a medical doctor, licensed professional, naturopath, chiropractor, whatever. Those are the laws. That's medicine. So if you're of the mindset to jump out of the matrix of the medical community and not align with that and just allow people to get educated and assist them and advocate for them and help them do their research to find out how to heal themselves, then just stick to the medical home use device or excuse me, not the medical, the home use device, the one I wrote the book about, okay? Dr. Jensen's method, that was fine. And it's been fine for me many, 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 many years. I personally didn't like the class two speculum because it's a bigger speculum and because I wasn't in control. I felt like my colon was in resistance to that water flow and that the technician didn't turn it off uh, as quickly as I wanted him to. I've also heard a lot of horror stories from other doctors who um, I went to school with and who trained with Dr. Jensen like I did. Some people have been left on those machines. They haven't been attended to properly. But please know that I'm trained on the hydrosands. I'm also trained with uh, clear water down in Florida. Hydrosands is out of Phoenix. And I'm happy to train you on the practice and the procedures and the report of findings using those devices if you should engage. And I would like to know what you're thinking. And then if you change your mind later, we can play catch up. But it's good to know ahead of time how to help you. Okay. And what to bring to the class for you. So if you choose to do those, there are some special things. One is you're going to need that prescription to buy the equipment. Two is you're going to need a prescription for each client that comes to you that you use that machine on. Number three is that it is your responsibility within 24 hours to fax back to that doctor a report of findings. So you're going to be taking pictures sometimes on your phone, writing out your chart notes and faxing those back to the medical doctors. Sometimes a medical doctor wants a referral, wants a, a piece of um, a commission. Sometimes they don't. Um, you have to establish that relationship on your own. If you are um, in the medical community, your family's in the medical community, I'm sure you can work it out without my help. But I'm glad and, and delighted that you have questions and that you want to know. The thing that is the most uh, beneficial about that type of uh, class two medical device is that it has a viewing tube. So when the fecal matter and the waste goes floating by, your client and you can see it and identify it. Now, I see and identify what goes into the toilet when I'm cleaning the toilet. And my nose knows. So I can smell cancer 
in the next room. I, I just do it over the years. I mean, you know, I worked with so many oncologists in Las Vegas sending clients up to me for five years, I think. It was nonstop. I had six rooms going on and one class two medical device at the same time. And then a couple massage rooms, a couple esthe rooms. We had a health food store up front. We sold supplements. And then because a lot of people couldn't afford um, the uh, procedures, I took in trades of art. So I set up a little art art gallery shop, gift gallery, gift shop for our clients um, to kind of recap recap my expenses on helping to train people and um, um, give them services. So with that being said, there's all kinds of things you can do. Now, you are going to learn a lot about marketing, what to say, what not to say, where to get your best uh, bang for your buck and put your ads out. You're also going to have five people when you go through this class that are your megaphones that will tell friends that will help you get clients so it's really crucial you do your very best with each one of those people and it's very crucial that you see a wide variety of people i don't care if it's your mother um, your neighbor your husband your child um, your friends it doesn't matter who it is but it's somebody that needs help releasing somebody with a beer belly or a gluten gut, somebody who just doesn't go to the bathroom regularly. And um, I've had people who haven't gone for a week. Those were perfect candidates. A little hard getting started, but once they did, it was wonderful. Miracles happen in that bathroom. Let me tell you. So you're originally going to learn in the class as we go along about how the neurotoxic food that we eat, that we're exposed to in our environment, uh, the pollution um, kind of numbs our brain. Okay. So when people change their diet and they go more vegetarian or they go more juicing while they're doing colonics, and then you're removing the waste of all that neurotoxic uh, tissue that's in there, they become more intuitive. I talked about that in my last video at the end and how people just feel like their intuition got sharper. They just knew stuff. They weren't forgetting as much. Um, they were having more spiritual experiences. I've had a lot of elderly women who I helped with cancer who were um, passing away in hospice and they could feel their families that had passed on over and made their transition. They could feel their spirits. They could feel their souls. I am a person who believes that what God made never dies, never ends. So I believe that our souls are eternal, but our bodies will decay and drop away. And so take care of that body as long as you can, because that's how our soul communicates and sheds the toxicity, the programming, the epigenetics. And we came here to stop and break that toxic pattern. So if you're someone who's had a lot of pedophilia in your family or narcissistic um, abuse patterns or bad relationships or alcohol addiction, drug addiction, um, you know, certain behaviors that literally need to end, let them end with you. You clean it up. You take 110% responsibility and clean it up and make it stop with you. And colonics at home in private, I'm a very private person, will help you tremendously. You know, you put those headphones on, you're, you're blasting your love music. You charge the water with pure love, pure God source, divine, creative, genius love. And you put that into your body. Mwah. Voila, honey. 
you just turned yourself into an ascended master because you got out of your own way and you got your shit out of your own way, literally and figuratively. And I'm not trying to be nasty mouthed here. I'm trying to literally be frank and honest with you. So please hear it in that light. Okay. Now, that initial three days is intense. It's about 10 hour days. And that's if we have stuff going on with all of the clients. And it's also going to depend on how long the day is by how many people are enrolled. Okay. So not every one of your clients is going to be seen on day one. So we have to work out that schedule. That's why I need to know ahead of time and I need commitments ahead of time. So uh, what else have I left out? So when you learn Ayurvedic uh, diagnosis, so you're looking at the fingernails, you're looking at the tongue, you're looking at the ears, you're looking at the toenails, and you're learning reflexology, you're looking at the hands and the feet, you're looking at iridology, you're looking at the eyes. Everything is a map to your internal state of being. And when we get those things down on paper and marked and establish a new case, those things we can track because they will change. When I first see a new client after I've done my own colonics and my energy is like way, way high and my, you know, pineal gland is not calcified anymore. I have no neurotoxins in my brain because I just detox, detox, detoxed. I can look in someone's face and see that they had a hysterectomy. I can look and see that they had cancer. I can look and see that they had hormone problems or they have major digestive issues. Their liver is failing on them. I can see it. it scares some people, but here's what it is. It's that I know what I'm doing. Number one, I understand face diagnosis in my sleep. I think I analyze everybody in my mind. Sometimes it doesn't come out my mouth. And that's what I remember about them, but I won't remember their names. I don't know. It's a weird thing. But it scares people because they think you're psychic. They think you see into them and it's scary. Nobody wants to be that seen until they trust you, until they know you're not going to hurt them until they know you know what you're doing. And so the first three days of our class is going to be about client rapport and establishing that for the long term of your client. I've had a great many clients that I've seen for 30, 40 uh, sessions. When I lived in Seattle, I had the little clear water travel kit and it's a suitcase where you put your machine in that. Then I'd put the supplies. I'd go to people's homes and set up. They'd have bought their rolly carts. I'd just go in and set it up. They had their own massage tables. I'd work on them like that. And it was perfect. i just go in, unpack, set up. They'd be on the table. No mess, no fuss. And progress. Okay? Because then they could get in their own shower. Then they could take the time in their own bathroom. I'd be cleaned up and gone by the time they were done. So with that being said, I've had a lot of cancer patients, autoimmune patients that I've seen in that kind of format because they don't want anybody to know. They're just as private as me. I have come home from long trips three times in kidney failure because I needed to get on my own colonic board. True. I wake up the next day. Guess what? No pain. None. And my kidneys stop bleeding. So trust me when I tell you that board is where miracles happen. And so I want to make sure as an instructor, as your professor, that you are able 
to understand the language of miracles and how to relate to that because you're going to see them. Okay. So remember, it's all natural. It's only water and your intentions. It's sound, vibration, frequency. They are going to be taking uh, probiotics and electrolytes. And you have to insist on that. Otherwise, if they get sick, it's bad news for your business. And um, the, the complete follow-up is good. The seven series. And I have that on my website on the Asclepius-Spa.com website. Uh, I have the single colonic. I charge $100 because I fill them with everything. I got frequencies going on. I've got intention going on. I pamper them. I give them the headphones. Um, you know, they can clean up in the shower. There's aromatherapy in the room. They go home smelling like a rose, literally. Um, you know, they can read my books. We can process emotions, somatic things. Um, the whole iridology, reflexology, Ayurvedic education will help everybody they know and them for the rest of their lives. Um, a lot of people that I have one or two small conversations with that I think weren't even listening to me or that I had no effect on at all, turn around and become nutritionists, naturopaths. One went to uh, chiropractic college. Um, acupuncturists, I have a lot of those. And uh, a lot of them are into aesthetics into colon hydrotherapy that's all they practice and they have everything with it they have the sound machines they have the scanar machines the you know vibration machines they have um, all kinds of things all kinds of things and they make amazing businesses out of it in seattle um, when i had the big clinic up there in westlake center there was a business that just did colon hydrotherapy and was called the Tummy Temple. And it was so popular. Everybody wanted to go there. Everybody. So with all that being said, I look forward to being your instructor. I am most honored beyond an honor of achievement, you know, uh, professional achievement, that you're choosing me to learn from, to study with. And to help you in probably, I know it's a weird career. I understand that nobody grows up thinking, I'm going to be a colon hygienist someday. I certainly didn't. But it worked for me. And it worked because I wasn't afraid of people's poop. And I wear gloves. I have my uh, medical coat on. I'm clean. I'm not afraid of their stuff because I don't accept the projection. I am me. This is me. Okay. And I cuss a little. I lose my words sometimes. One time I called the colonic equipment a laser. I mean, it happens, but I'm not incompetent. And people get that. They know that. And I also am aware of that. So I slow down a little bit more. But I get excited because I see these miracles happen and people's lives changing. And I am so blessed to be a part of that and even bigger blessings that I get to share that. So mwah, thank you for hearing the call. Thank you for receiving the call. Thank you for stepping up for at least five friends or people that you're going to help. Maybe it's your family. Maybe it's yourself. And, um, you know, showing up, that's the big part. Being willing to get the poop out. Being willing to tackle the shadow. Because it's just, it's movable. It's all alchemy anyway, right? You, you put water into the colon and it dissolves so that it can come out. Well, the water's just liquid love. 
So you put love into a very dark, secret, you know, secret, shameful place. That's how we're conditioned. And guess what comes out? What you don't need anymore. And guess what you get to put back? The love, the peace, the compassion, the bliss. Oh, the bliss. Anyway, much love to every one of you. Surf's up. I hope you all get to surf. Bye-bye.